Now, as part of professional lives, most of us have to go through all this. It's rush hour traffic, and in metro cities, it means from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And that is why all of us, sometimes at a point of life, have wished for automatic cars. With slowing traffic and growing need for automatic cars in India, more and more manufacturers are launching small hatchbacks with automatics. The Brio was the latest, and now we have something from the Maruti stable, the Ritz Automatic. Now the only drawback with the Ritz I could find is the lack of space on the rear seat. The front seat has been adjusted for Shantarul who stands at 5 feet 8 inches tall. Of course I am 6 feet tall but again cars like the Figo and the Leva have more space over here clearly. Apart from this drawback, the Ritz interiors are very good. The windows have a sense of airy feel to the inside and the high seating posture actually gives a good visibility. The mid-level versions and the top end versions actually get dual tone interiors which imparts a feel of sportiness. For example, the door pads have a touch of redness over here. Well, the new Ritz continues to power by the same 1.2 litre petrol and the 1.3 litre Fiat source multi jet diesel engine. The difference is the new Ritz gets improved engines. While the petrol gets VBD technology, the diesel is actually 10% more fuel efficient. That means in typical city conditions, don't be surprised if the car gives you 90 to 20 kmpl. Of course, there's a new transmission option as well. The petrol engine in the mid level VX and variant now gets a 4 speed automatic. Now, as far as the interiors of the new Ritz are concerned, the USP of the car has always been the practicality and the high seating posture. The amount of visibility you get in the car is very good and this can be a boon for the face sex and the elderly. Apart from this, the new Ritz actually gets dual tone interiors for the mid-level and the top-end versions. Diesel, of course, now gets a ZDI which wasn't present on the earlier Ritz. Like the Acer and the Desire, even the Ritz makes use of a 4-speed automatic. Now, this is one less as compared to the Honda Brio, but again, the kind of ratio this car has and the Pepe petrol engine means driving the automatic in city traffic won't leave you complaining. You won't actually even feel the lack of a gear until unless you hit the highway at speeds of over 100 kmph. We have been driving this automatic Ritz in Delhi traffic since morning and the display shows 10.5 kmph. Not bad with the aircon and Delhi's morning rush traffic. is actually more than just a facelift. It offers you better looks, better interiors with a premium feel and of course the engines will offer you better economy as well. And then there's the automatic option. So if you're in the market looking at a comfortable, first free and easy to drive hatchback, this one from 4.3 lakh rupees extra room daily could make a lot of sense.